What it do, what it do? It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, um, Kid Austin is a problem. Um, I've been watching you very closely. Um, I gotta be honest. Um, I knew it went but one round, but in that one round, I saw so much. In that one round, um, I'm not going to say I saw a completely different fighter, but I see some different shit. I see some different shit. Um, you mentioned after the fight that uh, your pops been telling you to work behind the jab. Well, that shit worked out to perfection. Um, it, it's things I underestimated about Kid Austin. It's things I underestimated. Um, because over the last four fights, it's certain things that I didn't like that I was seeing. Um, I felt like you was almost a little overly aggressive and not setting up your punches right. The way you set up your shots in this last fight, it was phenomenal. That shit was phenomenal. That leaping ass left hook you leaked in with, that shit was phenomenal, bro. That shit was phenomenal, bro. That hand speed. I knew you had fast hands, but the, you displayed it in a much more impressive way. You weren't overthrowing your shots. You were throwing combinations. That hand speed is different. That hand speed is different. That shit is different. Not only that, I'm going to tell you some shit about Kid Austin. Um, Kid Austin is one of the biggest lightweights in boxing. Kid Austin is huge. And I'm going to tell you another thing. To me, Kid Austin is... Kid Austin bigger than Devin when he was that lightweight. When you look at his shoulders, when you look at his chest and how... Kid Austin is a machine. Kid Austin is huge. On fight night, he looked like a super welterweight. Kid Austin is very big. He's a very big lightweight. Very big. Five foot nine. Got pretty good reach. Um, he big though. He big and he's very strong. Um, Kid Austin is also a gym rat. Um, he always in the gym. He's always sparring different dudes. Uh, he done been in the ring with Sean Porter, Richardson Hitchens. He done been there with all of them. Tank. He done been in the ring with everybody. Shakur. Um, Kid Austin, man. I... At this point, we just got to measure. Man, listen, bro. You right around the corner. <laughs> what is that song? I see death around the corner. Listen, I see stardom right around the corner for you. Um, You can't miss, bro. Uh, you can't miss. Can't miss, bro. And you can't be overlooked. You can't be overlooked. And I'm going to explain that. Um, but you right around the corner. You right around the corner. It's a couple more things you got to do. But you you right around the corner. Listen, uh, for one, the reason why I say star, stardom is, is you destined for it, bro. You're going to be a star. There's no way around it. Because um, a lot of people like to put black black people all in the same basket. And black fighters all in the same basket. And we're very de defensive. And we move. And uh, we don't engage. And all these other things that they try to say that all black fighters do same thing they said about floyd and they say floyd built a generation of uh backpedaling uh running fighters and me personally like i said bro i'm a real fan i like every style it depends on how effective you are but i've always preferred the boxer style more than it i think that's the best style the slick boxer is the hardest style to beat there's no harder style to beat than a slick boxer with a high ring IQ, good fundamentals. Um, that shit is the hardest thing to beat, bro. So, um, but Kid Austin, uh, he can box, but that's not what he do. He's not a slick uh, defensive fighter. Kid Austin is a seek and destroy type fighter. Seek and destroy. He action packed. Uh, fans can't deny him, bro. Fans cannot deny him. Uh, <laughs> he said after the fight, you know... Uh, <laughs> You know, he shot his shot at Shakur and, you know, talked about how exciting he is and he'll never uh, have a boring fight, shit like that. But you a fan-friendly type fighter, um, seek and destroy. Seek and destroy. 
I just think you need more attention at this point. Um, I'm going to tell you some shit. I said in my last Keyshawn Davis fight, uh, for him to get another fight and another... I said for him to get one or two more fights and fight you December next year. <sighs> that shit, dog. Ooh, I, I just don't know if Bob will do it. I don't know if Bob will do that. Um, Kid Austin is very dangerous. Kid Austin and Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn Davis and Kid Austin are two of the biggest lightweights. They both big. These dudes are big. They very big. When you look at Keyshawn on fight night, when you look at Kid Austin on fight night, they big, bro. I don't know, bro. Uh, yeah. This time, December uh, next year, yeah, I still want it. I still want the Keyshawn Davis versus uh, Kid Austin fight. I still would like it. But Keyshawn Davis will have to get two good um fights before that and kid austin need to get the jojo diaz fight and um if if you can get a jermaine ortiz if you can i just don't know about that but um because it ain't you over there with oscar and listen but no hopkins listen bro i never say nothing good about you because it's hard for me to find some good within you to say but shout out to you for working with Kid Austin, bro. Uh, this is the first black fighter we've ever seen you work with. Yeah, this is the first black fighter we've ever seen you damn near fight for. So shout out to that. Uh, hopefully you can help him out very much. Uh, Oscar kind of shocked me because Oscar said after this fight, he said, "Man, Kid Austin is special." And you don't hear you don't hear Oscar say that a lot. Oscar said Kid Austin special. But the only thing, bro, uh, Oscar. He's much better at promoting Mexican fighters. Um, that That's a good... I'm not trying to... Hopefully he can do some shit. The best thing I can say Oscar can do to help you is uh, keep you in Texas, bro. <laughs> keep you in Texas, bro. Because when they say, from San Antonio, Texas... And sometimes they say Austin. They got you from three different cities in Texas. But when Texans hear Texas, bro, it kind of... You got a big cheer uh, last night. Yeah, maybe if he can keep you in Houston, Dallas. I ain't gonna say San Antonio, um, especially if you fighting a Mexican. They can they can announce from San Antonio, Texas, and that Mexican could be from California, anywhere, bro. You are gonna get booed in front of all the Mexicans in San Antonio. So Houston and, and Dallas is is the two spots that I think you need to fight at, bro. You need to fight in Texas. Oscar need to keep you in Texas, bro, and build you a good Texas fan base, bro. Because casual fans will, uh, they, they'll appeal to you, bro. Um, I mean, you'll appeal to them because I'm telling you, bro, your style, your style is, um, yeah, it's like that. You got the crossover style, you got the appealing style, and I, I think that's what you've been shooting for. I've noticed in the last four, three, four fights, like I said, you were starting to overshoot your shots because you have fell in love with your power so much to the point where you just want to. You just fell in love with your power over the last couple fights. But this fight, boy, I seen how dangerous you is when you work behind the jab. And it's like your hand speed is even faster. It's like that coming behind that jab, bro, it just, you very fast. Very fast. And I'm going to tell you another thing. I think you farther along than Keyshawn. I'm going to tell you something. You might be next year. Instead of Keyshawn Davis, could Keyshawn Davis may got some more grooming to do. I think Keyshawn Davis is gonna be very good though. I think he got, I think he got a little more grooming than you because you're 16 and 0 with uh, 12 knockouts. Um, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. You right around the corner from a Frank Morton fight. You right around the corner from a Frank Morton fight. Um. You need the Jojo Diaz fight to really help you. Jojo Diaz, uh, it can really fight though. Jojo Diaz, I, I like. I always like Jojo. He got. He got a little. He tricky, bro. He tricky, and he southpaw. That that'll be a good look for you. Jojo Diaz. Boy, you ain't too far off from a Frank Morton fight though. Um, and like I said, bro, a Frank Morton fight, a uh, um, Jermaine Ortiz fight, um. Those kind of fights will help prepare you 
for the tanks and Shakiras and shit like that. I'm not, you're not far off, bro. You're not, you ain't a long shot away from being eligible <laughs> for, uh, and, and you the regular D, uh, WBA champion, I want to say. Uh, tank, uh, Devin and gave up the belts, bro. Listen, this time next year, bro. You, you, this time next year, get you two more fights. Two more fights. Get the JoJo Diaz fight, another fight, and Frank Martin. Frank Martin, at this, at this point, instead of the Keyshawn Davis, I don't think Keyshawn, Keyshawn is very skilled. Don't get it twisted. I think Keyshawn is special, too. Keyshawn Davis is special. Uh, I don't think he ready for you. I, it ain't that you ain't ready. I don't think Keyshawn Davis is ready for you. Maybe he is, and maybe he may perform. I think this is too early in Keyshawn Davis for him to see this kind of explosive power and speed. I think Keyshawn Davis need to be groomed some more. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, if Keyshawn Davis was to fight a Jermaine Ortiz, that's an easier fight than fighting Kid Austin. If Keyshawn Davis was to fight Jermaine Ortiz, that's an easier fight than fighting Kid Austin, bro. Keyshawn Davis has not seen this kind of hand speed, and your hands are faster than uh, Keyshawn. And you got devastating power in both hands. That shit is not cap. Um... Bob act like he really care for uh, Keyshawn, and if he really do, I'm telling you, he won't put him in the ring with you. He won't do that. Um, yeah, I think you further along than uh, than than Keyshawn at this point. So I see more of a Frank Morton fight for you. Um, Michelle Rivera at 140, but if he was at 135, that'd be a good fight for you. That would be a hell of a that would be a good test for you to fight Michelle Rivera. But he at 140 now. That'd have been a good one. Um, you right around the corner. You around the corner. I don't see no three years before you read. Now, uh, between one and two more years, between one and two more years, you, you fighting for a world title. Yeah, this time next year, bro. I'm telling you, um, you need to use uh, 2024 to really just. Get you some good fights, bro, and just keep, stay active. That's the main main thing, bro. Stay active. Keep working on that jab. Keep coming behind that. When you come behind that jab, that shit is, that shit is serious, bro. I'm just telling you, bro. Kid Austin, I, I, I'm impressed because I see the improvement. I see the adjustments, and I see the hunger. By the way, shout out to your father. Shout out to your father. Uh, <laughs> he talks plenty of shit, but I love it because you ride with your son. I love it. I love it. Um... Yeah, I heard the story. I, I want to say y'all was homeless at one point. Y'all, y'all just have struck, bro. I swear, it's like y'all are father and son, and you look at him like a father, and and you respect him and you listen to him. You don't disrespect him, but it's a thing. Y'all very close. It's almost like a brotherly bond, a brotherly slash fatherly bond. Y'all got a deep bond. But see, when you struggle and you go through the struggles and you go hungry at night with somebody, it builds a bond, bro. So. I really respect your father, bro. I got a whole lot of respect for him. Yeah, he talk his shit. Um, and, and, and a lot of people look at that as, oh, he started trouble and he keep up some. Nah, bro, he's just supporting his son. And he believe in his son. He believe he beats anybody. So, um, yeah, but before the, um, before the Tanks and Shakur's, I definitely think you need uh, the JoJo Diaz. You need the Jermaine Ortiz. Then you need the Frank Martin. The Frank Martin, I'm telling you, um, you can't miss, bro. Um, I I gotta be honest. Even though Oscar, um, he haven't had many black fighters and shit like that, and um, he doing pretty decent with you. He doing decent with you. Uh, you was on the co-main of uh, uh of the Ryan fight. I think after this fight, you need to headline with JoJo Diaz. I, that that should be a main event. That should definitely be a main event, and it should be in Texas. So, uh, but yeah, I see the improvements, bro. I definitely see the improvements. It can't be denied. So, yeah, this is 903 Boston. I'm your host, George J. With that, I'm out.